wait for that balloon to go away. It's cool. It is kind of cool. Hi guys, welcome to my island tour of Spooky Island, my five star island. Um, I have themed this island off of uh, scary movies, just tributes, little areas um, dedicated to certain movies that I love. Um, I've put about 450 hours into this game and I have time traveled exactly one time. I'll show you guys where that is. So first I would like to show you the entrance here. I've got some gnomes. I love gnomes in real life, so I would like to I like to collect them on the island as well. Over here I've got a little throne room area where you guys can find me when I'm hosting events. So since I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the map. Here's my map. Um, that's my house in the corner. My villagers include Claudia, Ellie, Hans, Renee, Pango, Biscuit, Ricky, Pietro, Sydney, and Snake. The only kind of theming I went for with the villagers, I tried my best to get some cryptic villagers here. So I've got a spooky clown, Pietro. I've given him like knives and other stuff like that so that he displayed it in his house. Um, Biscuit, who has no eyes, and Hans, who is a yeti. This whole house is themed snowy and it's pretty cool. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my neighborhood first. So here's my neighborhood. Again, I gave every one of my villagers a gnome for their front yard. I wanted everyone to have their own individual little area while taking up the least amount of space possible because this kind of stuff can take up like a whole lot of space on your islands. In fact, they didn't even all fit over here. I had to add some over this way. So here we have my resident services area. We've got Brittany here watching over us, making sure we're safe. So my community area includes the neighborhood. I've got a little park area for my villagers as well. There we got Claudia moon bathing, which is cool. So here's my park area. I wanted to add some little Nova lights. I think they're really cute. And then I've got a community beach here. We've got Ellie over here as well. So another area for my villagers that I've created is behind resident services. So um, I decided to place all my extra flowers in this little fenced in area because I do try to grow some hybrids. So whatever I'm not using, I put there. And then over here, I've got a little fairy garden for my fairy friends to come visit. And then I've got a marketplace here where you can visit your favorite raccoons. So my first movie tribute is um, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, my favorite movie ever. So this is my biggest and favorite area of my island. Um, this movie is just literally about clowns from outer space that come to kill people at a carnival. So I decided to add like some carnival stuff as well as some space stuff. I feel like they went together nicely here. Um, and down here we got a little snack bar area. Complete with jester costumes. So my next area is um, another spooky area based off one of my favorite movies, The Candyman. This movie came out in 1992. Um, they were supposed to remake it in 2020, but I haven't heard much about it. So we'll see what happens with that. But I wanted to recreate the public bathroom scene in The Candyman uh, movie. So I added some toilets here, of course and the sink and some turtles. And then also I included the street piano here because it's the only item in this game that has graffiti on it that I could find. So I thought it would look nice here and it does. So down here I have a take one leave one area for events that I host. 
nice to have them all in one area like that. Here we have Bruce's house. We're not going to go in there. I'll let him take you guys through there if he wants. So, oh, there's Flake. So here is just a regular area. Um, I've got a little telephone booth. In some of my normal areas, I decided to just put blood splatters on the ground to make it look spooky. So the phone booth area kind of goes into my little forest, enchanted forest area, where there is a bear attack or something. Uh, in this area, I eventually want to put some mushroom furniture and stuff, but I don't time travel, so I haven't uh, gotten it yet. It's still summer for me here. So over here, I've got a little picnic area. And then down here, I've got a little bloody boardwalk complete with outdoor library where all the books are laminated just in case. I really like this area. I think it's really cute. It's not necessarily spooky though. So we're going to go back up through the forest and I'm going to take you to one of my little Stephen King areas. I have a lot of Stephen King stuff on here, but um, this area just happens to have a bunch of it. So here, the first thing I've got for you is the pet cemetery where I placed all the pet furniture that I could find with all the gravestone stuff I could find and then created a really creepy effect here. And then in the back, you can probably guess this is from it. It's pretty simple, but you can definitely tell what it is. So back here, I'm a big fan of the Twilight Zone. Um, this is the TV show that came out in 1959. I made a lot of this stuff actually. I used clothing designs to conserve my um, regular design spaces. I think it worked well. Um, got a little movie camera in the back so you know it's from the TV show. So next I'll take you guys up to this area. The only spot where I ever time traveled. Um, arranging your rocks like this is really difficult and I do not recommend it. It took me a really long time and I didn't even get them all where I wanted them to, as you can tell. Um, this rock, I find it every day and I break it in hopes that it will spawn here. I know that'll probably never happen, but we can hope, I think. So up here, I've got a campsite. This is pretty normal campsite. However, this is the first um, serious decorating I did in an outdoor area and I really like the way it turned out. I did also put a lot of terraforming behind it, which leads into my uh, hybrid area. So up here, I've got my hybrid homies where I tried to breed some stuff, but I'm still missing the green mums, purple hyacinths, and blue roses. So if anybody would like to share those with me, that would be nice. So here's my private beach for when red comes. I've got it guarded by two skeletons. They're doing a great job. And I've collected all my lily of the valleys here with room for more. So up here, we got some more Stephen King. Um, I wanted to make a little farm area because I thought it was so cute and there's so many cute outdoor farm items in the game that would look great. So I put this in here for that reason. Um, I used the palm tree plants planted on the grass instead of the beach because they don't grow on the grass. I thought that would look cute like corn there. So I've done that there. And then up here is just a basic orchard that I made, which I use for if I'm ever needing some bells, I will go ahead and just sell all this fruit. And then I do have my money trees uh, planted here by the safe. I usually have a couple lined up. So, Beyond my campsite here, I have got a little Twin Peaks tribute. I'm a big fan of the Twin Peaks TV show. Um, came out in the 90s. Here I've got 
the backdrop of Twin Peaks, Washington mountains there in the Twin Peaks Sheriff Department, which I did make this sign here. I've got a prisoner turtle back there. And then next door, I've got Norma's Double R Diner where we've got a snapping turtle date happening. Hope everything's going okay for them. There, we've got cherry pie on the counter there. So next, this is an extension of my community area. It's the, just basically the pool where friends and turtles can swim if they want to. So next, I do have uh, my museum here. And I really like the way this museum came out. This was really the first terraforming I ever did. Um, and it's still my favorite. I think it fits the museum perfectly. And I think it looks really grand. They're suitable for blathers. So next we are going to go over to the beach here. So this is Carrie's beach. Um, based off the movie Carrie. So here I've created the dress i made that as a custom design and then i've added some of the crowns in the background for our prom king and queen and then just a little prom scene with some creepy music down here yeah okay so now we are gonna go into my house area so I wanted to theme my house off of Stephen King's The Shining. Uh, so my house is a replica of the Overlook Hotel. Wanted it to be really hard to get to because famously in the movie, the hotel is really hard to get to. So um, I created the easiest maze of all time to get there. I can't wait for when it's winter and there's snow on the top of these hedges. I think it'll really look like the Overlook. So here we are again in the mountains. We've got the Overlook Hotel, no... Oh yes, vacancy, of course. Nobody's there. First, we're gonna change into some more comfy clothes. Head inside. So this is the Great Hall area of my hotel. Um, I put in just some really rustic cabin decor to fit the... Um, overlooks theme and back here as you can see I do have my typewriter for Jack all day we type you can see by his giant stack of papers that he's been typing for a long time and I've just got some deer heads on the wall I wanted to put this train replica here to kind of represent the maze replica that's in the hotel um, but the game doesn't have one of those so that's the closest I could get So this area is the creepy bathroom where the lady tries to, the old lady tries to kill Danny. Um, there she is in the back there. Uh, I wanted to make this look really art deco as much as I can because the, uh, in the movie, the bathroom is super art deco-y and green. So I tried my best with that. So this is my office um, where Jack gets his job interview and where they eventually try to call for help when the um, power lines or if telephone lines go down. Um, I wanted to just make this generally looking like an office and I had all this wall stuff that I really liked but I had nowhere to put. So here it is. I put it all in one room. I think it looks really good though. I think it looks like your classic office. So here we have my hotel bar. Um, this is one of my faves as well. I love this room. Um, I did not make the carpet. I stole that one off the internet. But I did make the back bar print that we've got there. I wanted to just make this room as red as possible. Um, so I've just added some art deco wallpaper. And then I've got my creepy golden candlesticks there. And then we have KK Swing playing in the background. Super spooky. So here we have my industrial kitchen. I wanted to make this room look like a big hotel kitchen. 
So I put all the whitest white furniture that I could find in here. I think it turned out nicely. Um, I wanted it to look very like commercial, so I added all the light switches, the breakers, the big white clock, the intercom. I did also put a security camera in this corner, as you can see, and also a nice little cockroach on top of the refrigerator. So upstairs we've got a little hotel suite. This is one of my favorite rooms as well. I just think it looks really cute the way um, it's set up with the studio bathroom little apartment here. Um, I did add a little red rum poster here in order to denote that this is the creepy side of the hotel room. Um, added the axe there. I really like the way this room came out. So there's just one more area for us to take a look at. Um, it is up here. Like I said, my heart, house is really hard to get to. But here I've created something for you guys to interact with. Um, I wanted to make a spot where I could recreate things that our viewers send to us. So um, if there's something you'd like to see me recreate here, um, I will go ahead and give it my best shot. Oh no, I got bit by a mosquito. Wow. Don't you hate that? Anyway, so if you'd like to see something recreated here, go ahead and just comment on this video or you could um, send us a direct message or tweet at us on Twitter or Instagram. You should see our information for that up on the screen now as well as posted in the description. So uh, yeah, here we are. Whatever you'd like to see here, I'll give it a shot. So thank you guys for watching.